Hello, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Fact. If you love geography and history, subscribe right now, I promise that it'll be worth it. Graubünden, or the canton of the Grisons, is the largest federal state of Switzerland. It makes up over one-sixth of the country, but at the same time it's the most sparsely populated region of Switzerland. Only 198,000 Swiss out of 8.5 million live in Grisons. That means that, on average, you'll only find 28 people per every square kilometer. Go up in the mountains and that number drops even more. So there is no shortage of open space, peace and tranquility in this canton. Graubünden was once a territory of Rhaetia, a region inhabited by Celtics who eventually fell under the rule of the Roman Empire. They built cities, roads and began colonizing their territory. Centuries later, Germanic Franks entered Rhaetia and established themselves along the Rhine River. Their influence gradually changed the language of the Rhaetians, and as a result, today more than half of the people speak in Germanic dialect. People in the south speak Italian, but there is one group that lives in the upper valleys of the Rhine and the Inn who was isolated enough to resist Germanic influences. Today, they still cling to their ancestral tongue, Romance. Romance is one of the descendant languages of the spoken Latin language, albeit with a strong German influence. It kind of sounds like Italian or Spanish, spoken with a German accent. Although less famous than its more prominent Romance sister languages, Romance is an important relic of the ancient times. And Graubünden is where you'll find the most speakers in the world. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, and none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Ok, now let's get to fact number 3. After the Roman Empire ended and the Middle Ages began, a new feudal system took its place. In 1367, the so-called League of God's House was established in the region to resist the rising power of the Bishop of Kur, who was under the influence of the Habsburgs. This was followed by the establishment of another alliance, the Grey League, which is what gave the canton its name. A third alliance called the League of the Ten Jurisdictions was also established also to resist Habsburg domination. The three leagues allied themselves with the Swiss Confederation and cooperated with them for a long time. But it was only after the Napoleonic Wars that the three leagues were united into a single canton, the Grissons. As to why they called themselves the Grey League, it was because of their homespun grey clothes, worn by most of the people in the region. This canton is entirely mountainous, so the landscape is epic and the temperatures are never too high. One-fifth of the canton's total area is covered with forests and there are about 225 square kilometers of glaciers left. The mountain ranges in the central area are very steep, having some of the deepest valleys in Europe. There are 937 mountain peaks that go all the way up to 4,049 meters and almost half of the lakes in Switzerland are found in this one canton. This is without a doubt one of the most breathtaking regions in Europe. The Grissons was one of the last regions of Switzerland to benefit from busy commerce with the rest of the country. This is in part due to its isolation, but also because of the canton's resistance to personal vehicles. Until 1926, cars were not allowed here, and even today in the village of Arosa it's illegal to drive cars after nightfall. This ban on the use of roads helped to popularize the Rhaetian railway, whose narrow gauge trains cross the region along hairpin turns and through dozens of tunnels. Today, the Rhaetian Railway, as well as the postal buses that crisscross the district, provide panoramas of the jaw-dropping landscapes, and it's still the best way to travel around the state. Kur is the capital and largest town in the Swiss canton of Grissons. The city, which is located on the right bank of the Rhine, is reputedly the oldest town in Switzerland. This, of course, has been disputed, but what we know for certain is that Kur is indeed old, having been established sometime around the year 3900 BC. 
This city of just 35,000 people is jam-packed with countless historic buildings, medieval streets, libraries, museums, churches and even old patrician houses. Add to this the fact that the city is virtually surrounded by mountains and you'll find that a vacation here is pretty much perfect. If there's one thing this canton is famous for, it's the iconic little girl of Switzerland, Heidi. Johanna Spiri's worldwide bestseller Heidi is a novel about the events in the life of a young girl in her paternal grandfather's care in the Swiss Alps. Published in 1881, Heidi is still one of the best-selling books ever written and is among the best-known works of Swiss literature. The author, Johanna Spiri, spent several summers near Kuh as a child and it's what drew the inspiration for the book. Heidi symbolizes the values of home, truth and good deeds, all set in the scenic Gaubunden Alps. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.